Welcome back, everybody, to an All Things Nerd podcast. Uh, tonight, we're going to be going over some uh, gaming topics, as always. And uh, tonight, I'm joined here by Hype, Shiloh, and Caleb. And no. what's going on, gentlemen? Hi. Howdy, howdy. We are just chilling, talking in Discord, and they're playing some Titanfall as we just chat. And uh, tonight, I wanted to start out by uh, asking you guys, um, well, not asking, but just going over a couple topics here. Uh, the first one is going to be a little interesting. I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out because it seems like Disney and Microsoft's taking over the planet. So <laughs> Microsoft is planning yeah. uh, with a deal right now. It's in the works that Microsoft is planning on purchasing Discord for $10 billion. And they want to integrate it, I'm Jeez. assuming, into their Microsoft Teams. Anybody have any thoughts on that and where you think Microsoft could be taking Discord? Do you think it could be improving it? Do you think it could be hurting it? Because we kind of saw what happened with Skype. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think uh, you might need to turn up your volume a little bit because I can't really hear what you're saying. Oh, turn up my <laughs> volume? Might be a game. I just, I just turned my I, I turned mine down and uh, his volume is still bad. I have um, that uh, 116%. Let me see if I can turn oh, my... Act- actually, on topic now, though. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, I think if Sony acquires, uh, or I mean, if Microsoft acquires the rights to Discord, Sony fanboys are on suicide watch. So, yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Well, do you think Sony would just come out with their own like Discord type chat then? I, I think they would just keep has... using PlayStation Party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and acting like it's totally fine. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, because like they already have. Um, you can already use the PlayStation Party like chat on um, your phone, mm. so it's not like there's an exact need for, uh, you know, a chat service. Considering you can literally use that, and then if you use Remote Play on PC, um, you can use the chat through there as well. I, I so I, I don't see a need for them creating a whole new chat uh, system, but yeah, because I don't know. Like I don't I, know. I've I don't really know about the whole um if it would turn into another like skype situation yeah there makes something i haven't haven't used teams like we actually are trying to move over to use teams at our work so i haven't really had to get a feel of what teams is gonna be like so maybe later on after using that i'll be able to give more of a clear answer but yeah i I mean they could probably do something good with it I, i like um i've enjoyed like the xbox overall as a whole with like their game pass and i mean everything i've seen from xbox or microsoft in general has been pretty good so i don't think it'd be too terrible yeah i mean microsoft definitely needs to step it up this round because the playstation 4 Mm. did dominate the consoles as we know these past few years now before that playstation 3 didn't do so hot and the 360 was dominant towards during that time so they seem to trade off (laughs) they seem to trade off yeah a few consoles um, so I'm excited to see what Microsoft's going to do with this. I think that they could really fund a lot of money. I mean, $10 million is a lot of money. Yeah, billions. S- billions, yeah, billions. Those guys are going to be billionaires overnight, and that's pretty cool. I mean, good for them, whoever created Discord. You know, like I said last time, yeah, for sure. you know, um, a lot of, you know, Microsoft kept a- approaching Moj- Mojang, right, for My- Minecraft, and he kept saying no. And I feel like eventually they were like, how about a billion dollars? And he's like, yep, so where's the contract? So I don't yeah. blame the mic- the Discord guys selling it over to Microsoft. Anybody set with that kind of money for life right. would be crazy not to, unless you just have a huge passion for what you do and that you need to just keep your baby. You know what I mean? So, right. And a lot of developers feel that way. They're like, no, I worked yeah. hard. I earned this and I don't want to sell it to a big corporation. Because you know, no matter how much amount of money they offer me, because I enjoy what I do, and that's okay, you know. But it seems like Discord is going in the direction of. I guess I was reading the article that they actually approached Microsoft with the idea, so they were already wanting to sell it to begin with. So good for them. I'm, I'm happy for them. Any final yeah. thoughts? The biggest hit that this has to Sony, if Microsoft acquires it, is that with the <clears throat> importance of. Um, cross-platform and things, especially considering with PC, it's going to leave Sony either without a cross-platform chat system or it's going to force them to make one. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no reason to play on your PS4 over your PC, which then you can talk to your friends on, you know, Xbox and whatnot. Yeah. 
I can see that. So that's why I say it's so devastating for Sony if Microsoft pens this deal. Mm -hmm. I feel like Microsoft and Sony are always competing so much for everything, and Nintendo's just like, well, we got Mario and Zelda. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. But in Maten Nintendo's defense, you only really need Mario and Zelda. Yeah, yeah. That's it's like that. Sure. Uh, it's like that Rona meme that you shared about the whole first uh, COVID case. Yeah. And it was like four months later. <laughs> yeah, Internet Explorer. <laughs> I love Internet Explorer. Oh, that poor <laughs> browser. That thing's died so much. <laughs> so I, I hate it. We have to use that at work. It's terrible. Do you guys really? That's awful. It, yeah, it freezes so up so much. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Internet think... Explorer is still a thing. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it, should, it should be interesting to see what they do with mm. Discord if they do purchase it. Yeah, I think mainly it comes down to, like Hype was saying, if it, if it does end up happening, it's, you know, you could just say goodbye to ever happening to or coming to console for uh, PlayStation. Hmm. And, I, and that's one of the things I've always wanted to see is, like, it's frustrating to play um, games with, like, let's say, like, Michael. Like, before when me and him played on PS4, but then I want to talk to you guys. Um, I, you know, like, everybody likes talking to, like, big groups, playing games. So it always sucked to want to talk to you guys, but then I had to kind of flip back and forth or decide who I want to kind of play with every single night and kind of micromanage because uh, Discord's not on ps4 yeah so i think for something like that to happen it would kind of suck only because if one day that does um is able to happen it's you would never be able to see the light it wouldn't see the light of day it would never happen yeah i mean for context we're talking to you on discord and playing games right now yeah, yeah. But i mean from playing with people on ps4 try and talk with people on pc at the same time like there's the there's an issue where like I'll talk and then Nathan will respond. I'm like, oh no, I'm talking to Michael. Yeah. So that's like two different chats. Like it's nice to just have one chat. Yeah, for sure. For a bunch of people to join on. For sure. So, you have anything on this, Shiloh? Any thoughts on Microsoft acquiring Discord? Um, not really. I mean, I kind of agree with what you guys are saying, and uh, it's you know it's a big move regardless. Um. You know the company but then again you know, we're talking about microsoft and you know again we're talking about uh you know giants you know when it comes to you know the industry you know whether it's like gaming or honestly just like entertainment as a whole because obviously gaming is just it's it's not i mean not okay gaming obviously is you know always been mostly known to be part of the entertainment industry but honestly gaming is so much more about like it's not just about gaming anymore you know like no. gaming itself is just is a huge staple of uh, entertainment it's you know if someone was to say i don't game it would be uncommon now to hear that than to hear you know oh i i don't really game or i i'm, out, I'm outside mostly like you know yeah. <laughs> you know i mean it's so integrated in our society now uh that it's just uh, pretty crazy but but yeah uh but no i think that's, that's awesome and you know again I, I don't know i mean you guys were talking about the other you know the, the uh playstation how they have their you know we're talking about the separate chat utilities and this and that and discord is you know i i met one person my neighbor actually over here at my apartment complex where i said uh you know hey are you in on discord and he literally was all and he's probably like my age or a few years older he's all oh no it's that and i was like are you kidding me? In my head, <laughs> like, like, I, I I'm like, what the heck? I'm talking about MJ Kelby. You know MJ? He's probably yeah. like late twenties, early thirties, and he's all, uh, no, I have. Well, what is that? And I was like, oh, uh, it's this and that, and I'm all. Uh, you ever you hear Grinder? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on a uh, PC as well. Uh, are you on a uh, PC or whatever? He's like, oh no, I'm not really. Uh, I don't really, you know, I do that or whatever, and and all that crap and. Anyways, basically, I'm, like, kind of caught off guard because he, like, looks pretty hipsterish, and I thought he looked like the kind of guy who would be on Discord and a PC, but he literally ha had neither. It wasn't on it, on it at all. But aside from that one rare example, you know, every person is going to know what Discord is. You know, I mean, look at uh, the, uh, you know, what do you call it, the virtual schooling, what we've had for the past year and whatnot, you know, like all these people have integrated other services and discord has been a big part of that for like, you know, <laughs> teachers and schools and whatnot. And, um, so like I said earlier, it's, it's more than just for gaming, you know, obviously it's not mm -hmm. like it was just for gaming, but discord is obviously like pretty much the main gaming audio, you know, platform you would be using for, yeah. you know, PC or whatever. But 
obviously it can be used for other things as well. And, uh, you know, like sometimes mm -hmm. me and John will just talk in here and we'll just, you know, use it like we use Skype, you know. So it's a very reliable service. And I think, you know, with Microsoft being the, the giant company it is and uh, having such a well integrate, you know, integration with uh, um, Xbox, obviously. So you have, the, you know, the huge combination you've had forever now of PC and Xbox and throwing Discord in the mix. I think it, it's not going to do anything else other than really just make them that much more successful. But I don't know. I guess we'll just see mm. how things play out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Moving on to our next topic, um, there's rumored, rumored, but apparently this guy is on a streak with rumors, and apparently there's rumor that PlayStation exclusive games are going to be coming to PC eventually, like Bloodborne and uh, the Uncharted series and um, well, some other cool. PlayStation About games. Time. Um, <laughs> hopefully nice. this is true. Uh, you guys have any thoughts on maybe other games you'd like to see finally come to PC, or are these kind of All the big of ones? them. Yeah, yeah. yeah just bring them all, right? <laughs> I'm tired of console exclusivity yeah. and all this shit. Yeah. I'm tired, just like I'm tired of PC exclusivity. Let people play games, you fucking assholes. <laughs> I will say real quick, I, I, you know, you said this. You're like, oh, any game come to mind? And it's funny, but for the longest time, The Last of Us has come to mind because mm. the first one I'm talking about, uh, the OG, because back on PS3 when it first came out. <clears throat> you know, memes are circulating around uh, The Last of Us and whatnot, and you see certain memes where someone like just cre like recreated a well, you know, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, G you know, uh, CGI version of Joel or like whatever. Basically, it looks like they just took an in-game screenshot, but they've like done memes <clears throat> where they like added things or changed things that w it wasn't supposed to look like, right? Yeah. Obviously, first thing that comes to mind for me is like playing The Last of Us with mods. Like, can you imagine if like you could play like like Joel, for instance, like if you took a uh, his like the younger version of Joel, right? Imagine if you could play like the younger version of Joel from earlier on in the game, um, later in the game, right? Your younger Joel, or like you know maybe different like missions or whatnot. Can you imagine other mods people would make? You know, I'd be like, oh, what would it have been like if I was Tommy this whole time? What missions would he be going through? Like, there's just so many possibilities with like mods and everything. Oh, like, absolutely. And that's just one. That's just one game, you know, from PS, you know, from PlayStation coming to PC that that hadn't even probably even had the word mod breathed into it you know what i mean like not that it's just just for mods but obviously i mean come on we're talking about console games coming to pc like look at skyrim look at all the mods that came to skyrim <laughs> yeah my my thing about pc um playstation exclusive games coming to pc is like bloodborne for instance bloodborne isn't selling playstation consoles anymore like it was so they need to find out something to do with that game and i think this would be a perfect opportunity if before we ever get you know when we get elden ring but also if we get bloodborne 2 if we ever get bloodborne 2 this would be just a good opportunity for people to kind of fill that gap who wants to play bloodborne again but also in 60 fps and all the glorious mods. that's be awesome yeah mm. so, so i know they have a uh, mod out right now but that's just for the uh those special consoles yeah the jailbroken <laughs> consoles yeah, or whatever <laughs> you're gonna have one of those to do but that would be awesome especially on pc yeah because i've been watching one of my favorite bloodborne streamers um hey zeus here's toast and he he's been playing his playstation 5 and all he does is play bloodborne and he's been playing at 60 fps on his console so it's pretty cool that people are already able to do that with the console and whatnot you know right for sure so, Hopefully it's a uncapped frame rate though. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, oh, that would sure. be nice. You know, I to be honest with you guys, I never I only played some of the Uncharted games. I never really actually played through them, so it would be cool to maybe see like a remastered version of them and then bring it to yeah. PC. Yeah. You know? I like that a lot. So. Oh, for sure. But well, you know, they uh we'll they see. did, but again, we're looking at exclusivity, right? So like ps4 came out with the uh, nathan drake collection and whatnot and that was remastered and whatever but there's just i mean even with a remastered game there's such a huge difference between i mean yeah. i'm sorry but it really comes down it comes down to the differences between pc and console if you want to talk about quality if you have a really good pc you're just not gonna be it's just unmatched and if you have an even remastered game like like kelb said right imagine it like uncapped you know frame rate and have more control over like your fov or something like that it just changes a lot of things yeah, and I think I was talking to this about with Hype the other night is like how well modders, how well they do with modding games nowadays, that they, they put all their passion and they put all their 
work into the games that they love that sometimes oh, yeah. they even do better than developers themselves because oh, they yeah. love the game oh, so much yeah. that can you imagine like how many like new campaigns or side missions or new weapons we could get with modders exactly, and like yeah. bloodborne and uncharted the last of us you were talking about like you could do a lot of cool stuff with mods and oh, you even see like these new mods coming out you got that fallout 4 yeah. new vegas yeah. mod coming out i mean that thing looks incredible and they're remaking yeah fall new big yeah. uh from the ground up in the fall four engine like that's just awesome like and that's just a couple they, dudes doing it didn't they do that with uh black mesa before yeah yeah they remastered all black, black mesa, mesa. Was, yeah the and, same thing and valve was cool about it and they even let them put it on the steam store and everything so it was like it's just i wish more companies would be open for modders to just yeah. i wish they would contract some of these modders and just let them do things like remasters let them do things like yeah. creating new campaigns, stuff like that, because mm -hmm. just let people have fun. But the problem is everything's about money at the end of the day. And so people don't want their work to be um, taken away from them, which I understand that. But at the same time, it's like if a game is just sitting dead for eight, nine, ten years, just let people do what they want to do with it. I mean, yeah. and nobody, if nobody's yeah, that... buying it anymore, who cares? Yeah, it's no. Not... It's yeah, not... yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like ruin anything. All it does is just add to the experience. Like if you want to re-experience a game again, kind of like essentially for the first time, um, or at least have that same feeling you did when you played a game for the first time, but for legit new content that's a full-fledged story, storylines, separate quests that has yeah. just hours and hours of content, makes something like so much more enjoyable. And honestly, I think I was saying this the other day too is. If we just got for the next, like, you know, the gaming market, there people are kind of running out of ideas, you can kind of see. So, yeah. If for like the next 10, 5 years, like 5 or 10 years, we just got full remasters of older games that we played growing up and they were done well, I'd be totally down with that. Like, that would be oh, so yeah. cool just to go back and play a bunch of my childhood games that I just loved, that I grew up with, and that they actually remastered them. And you can see, like, they did it with Tony Hawk, they did it with Crash Bandicoot, they're doing it with Diablo 2 Resurrected. I just think it'd be so cool to see some of these older games growing up that we played turn into something like beautiful, you know, and, and imagine what it really was supposed to look like back then, you know, because yeah. to our kid eyes, of course the game looks amazing. Right. But like now you go back and you play a game and you're like, this game's a potato. Like, this yeah, is, <laughs> everything like, looks so much know? different. Yeah. So it would just be cool to see some of these games remastered and brought to light. And it would also be cool for like new generation of gamers them not just playing minecraft and fortnite for a lot of these kids and people growing up to experience older games that we played growing up and so that would just be cool for the new gaming generation that they could actually go back and right. play these games and experience them too and i don't know i just think that would be cool honestly but... yeah for sure well and i agree uh, with that last part though like it's not it's not about remasters at all even just mm -hmm. like especially exclusively it's the idea of including you know and being able to have uh more you know more shared things and like you said more shared experiences and whatnot and just the enhancement of it you know like you could take something as it is or make it different or you know whatever um but on top of that like i know in the past like probably the past like five six years i think we could all pretty much attest to it you know like consoles in general aside from just pc has you know been making pretty big strides with cross play you know whatnot yeah um but if you can imagine you know games that aren't just single player but more, which i think uh, the thing is a lot of the main multiplayer games at least have begun you know begun becoming like uh cross-platform you know and whatnot but not every multiplayer game is and again obviously single player games for sure but if you can imagine it getting to the point where you know games that are like you know supposed to be exclusive for certain consoles or pc all more all more integrated you know then it's going to be all the more cross-platform which is an awesome thing because you know i can remember uh you know growing up as a kid or like you know being a teenager and you know <laughs> every time it was like yeah playstation xbox oh that was always the, the discussion, you yeah. know, but like it's going to get to the point where even now I can tell it's already mostly at the point where it doesn't really matter what they play because you know you're going to be able to play with them, but it's not completely like that. So yeah. I think it's going to be a cool, it would be a cool thing if, if it can get to that, uh, you know, way more so because then it's not, again, it's not just about, uh, you know, the, uh, the, you know, it's not just about single player, it's about multiplayer as well. And the fact that 
whether what are the you know whatever the mode is you're playing or whatnot you know the idea of being able to have no boundaries is a pretty pretty cool idea yeah absolutely um is there any games that you guys would like to see maybe remastered that you played growing up they never have gotten a remastered yet legend of dragoon legend of dragoon yeah I mean, everyone that played it knows exactly why. <laughs> I never actually <laughs> played Reg- Legend of Dragon, so I'd like to see. Oh, That'd be fun. Absolutely one of the best turn-based RPGs of the PS1 generation. Just excellent game. Mm. Uh, Caleb or On Shiloh? a par with Final Fantasy VII, in mm. my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. Glo- Glover? Glover. <laughs> 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 I know... I know specifically for you guys, you guys would probably love to see the Lord of the Ring games come to life again, right? Yeah. For oh, sure. heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those games I, I will awesome. say, <laughs> I will say real quick with that, I actually did find a, I guess, I don't really know what you want to call it, crack or what, whatever you want to call it. I found a free version of Return of the King that someone ported to PC. Oh, nice. And, uh, well, not necessarily ported. I guess it did come out on PC. But... It's not remastered, but I did I did the settings and it was you know it was crystal clear it was like it was mapped out for 1080p but I could tell it was a little off um, but it was pretty nostalgic. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awesome to get an actual like you know PC version if if you will. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, for me, I would like to see. I'm kind of some of these off games like I loved Red Dead Revolver growing up. Um, I know that everybody loves Red Dead Redemption and. Red Dead Redemption 2, but I love the side game, Red Dead Revolver, so I would love to see that game remastered. Wasn't I wish that Rockstar like would do that. Or not really. Yeah, that was actually the first Red Dead in the series. Um, yeah. And that game was... I had so much fun. I played hours and hours in that game, and um, I would love <laughs> to see Rockstar redo that. I would also like to see Rockstar do the... Um, not the Manhunt games, but they were the crime games. Um, crap. Crime games? Yeah, where you play it as like a... FBI agent, and you're like trying to track down the serial killer. Um, Craig. Uh, oh, Condemned. I would love to see the Condemned oh, games those remastered. Ones. Those games yeah. are awesome, and I can't imagine they were scary back then. I can't imagine what they would do now with those <laughs> games. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean the Condemned games were creepy as heck. So they were awesome games. They were a lot of fun. Number two was awesome, and number one was great. So we'll see. All right, mm. next topic. Um, Apparently, I'm just going to say it's about freaking time. There's going to be a Call of Duty Zombies standalone game coming out. And I guess That's it's really already in the works. So Interesting. Finally, they've been, they finally listened to the fans after 100 years of Call of Duty yeah. games. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts on a, maybe a standalone Call of Duty Zombies game coming out? I think that would be oh, cool. Man. I mean, if they're going to do it. I feel like what everybody's wanting is they're kind of wanting that single player horror kind of game. Mm. At least that's like what I envision. I just don't know um, what they would do if it's something that's going to be standalone. Yeah. I don't know how they'd make it scary. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the the thing too for me is uh first zombies I actually played, which was, you know, later was me and Caleb actually was uh, Black Ops, the first zombies. And mm. I know a lot of people kind of, kind of show that as like, well, or at least, a lot of people I've been talking to, they'd be like, oh, you know, oh, that's the best zombies, and I loved it, but um, I felt like after Black Ops 1 Zombies, it, like, lost the creep factor, and after that, it became more arcadey, and even though I know it was arcadey, like, um, you know, later on, all, all these characters just have these, like, quips and everything, and the game itself is sometimes <laughs> a bit, like, over the top, like, you know, with the monkey, like, you know, uh, the monkey, uh, what do you call it, the monkey toy thing you throw, to, like, have the zombies all kind of train up and follow it yeah the that's monkey bomb. like okay don't get me wrong that's og that's fun like whatever yeah. but if you imagine like making a standalone game if that's your if that's the point of your standalone game is trying to make like a pretty horrific zombie game you gotta make it more serious you can't <laughs> you can't have all these, yeah. all these people constantly joking and all this stuff like it's not gonna be scary at all <laughs> yeah it's gonna be one giant arcade single player zombies game unless they, they do that <laughs> yeah I what I think would be kind of cool is, is growing up I played all the zombies maps and all the Call of Duties for the most part, and for me it would be cool if they actually went back and took every single zombie map from the original games and actually expanded them into more of like a campaign for each one, because I would love to like revisit Moon. I would love to revisit um, 
the original cool. uh, Kinder Toten, right? And and mm. just see more of that world that they've created in those. So I think that would be kind of cool. But yeah. I'm all down for like an original zombies fresh idea. I just hope that they don't. Yeah. I hope they do it well because knowing Activision and the time that they give these companies like Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games and and Infinity Ward to make games is not much time and all they want is money. So I just pray that they allow them to take their time, whoever's going to do it, and let them polish it and make it into something special because if they mess this up, it's not going to be fun for them because fans have been waiting no. for this for a long for time. Sure. Even yeah. me, when I was a teenager, I always wanted a zombie standalone call of duty game and i think a lot of people have so i hope that they get to do this special you know this project really well so yeah we'll see um actually i want to backtrack just really quick i yeah. know we were talking about the creep factor or whatnot and i i actually <laughs> i gotta correct myself i think a lot of the characters in some of the styling they had hello hello I think we lost Shadow. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Um, so I think wow. what he was gonna say was he doesn't really oh, like Call of Duty at all. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> hey, sorry about that. I don't know. My uh, internet cut out for a sec. No, what? I was just gonna... hello. <laughs> I know my internet cut out for a sec. Um, no I was just gonna say in Black Ops Two, uh, there was the transit map. Remember Caleb? Yeah. And uh, me and Caleb play, play transit all the time. And I will say that that one part where like if you fell off the train. And you ended up like in the fog or some crap. It's those, little, those little goblin thingies would go on your face and start scratching at you. That was really creepy. I think if that was integrated in some, in some factor, that that could be pretty scary. And uh, on top of that, I didn't play it much. I don't know if you guys got the experience much, but you remember they had the Call of Duty World War II zombies, right? And uh, I remember they they integrated this, uh, or they introduced, I should say, this new uh, zombie type. Like, remember uh, 